All right, so we're back to our polynomial long division. This is the one that's going to feel the most weird to you. It's going to take the most getting used to. But once you get the hang of it, um, you know, you get the hang of it, and it's not too bad. So we have x squared plus 10x plus 21. We're going to divide that by x plus 3. So what you're dividing by is going to go out in front. There we go, x plus 3. Um, and then on the inside is going to be that x squared plus 10x. That's an x. I can make that better looking, right? Let's get rid of that. Okay. And... <laughs> in the world. Why do I keep making that x the exact same way? Okay, plus 10 x, okay, um, plus 21. So we start with the first terms. We're going to take the term on the inside here and divide it by x. So x squared divided by x. And again, if you like to see it, you can say where would be a good place to write it. That's just like saying, all right, x squared divided by x. I can see visually that's just going to give me an x to the first power. So that's going to be x. Now we multiply x times x plus 3. So we're going to do x times x and then x times 3. That's going to give us our x times x is our x squared, and our x times 3 is a positive 3x. And then we subtract. I think why I like to put parentheses around here so I remember that I'm subtracting this term and I'm subtracting this term. So we just got to be careful about with this, careful with that, with the subtraction. All right, x squared over x squared will cancel. That should happen. And then 10x minus 3x is a 7x. Yeah. And then we carry down the next term, plus 21. And then we go back to the division again. We are going to take, so we're not dividing this polynomial anymore. It's now to this. 7x divided by x. So I'll just write that out at the bottom again. Now we're looking at 7x divided by x will give us just a 7. So I'm going to say plus 7. Then we take our 7 and we multiply it with the x plus 3. That is going to give us... 7 times x is 7x, 7 times 3 is a positive 21, and then, whoa. And then we are going to subtract those. 7x plus 21 minus 7x plus 21 is 0. So our answer is this guy up here, x plus 7, final answer. All right, so fun. I'm going to move that over. Oh, apparently make this pretty big. Let's set up our long division for our last example. Last video of the chapter, which is kind of exciting. All right, remember what you're dividing by goes first. So x minus 4. divides into, or however you want to say it, x squared minus 2x minus 8. All right, start with the first terms. x squared divided by x is x, and then we multiply x times x minus 4. So x times x is x squared. x times a negative 4 is a negative 4x, and then we subtract x squared minus x squared cancels, and here's where we have to be careful. Negative 2x, if I were to write this over here, this is what it's saying to do. Negative 2x minus a negative 4x. That will turn to plus and end up with a positive 2x. And we carry down the next term, minus 8. All right, then we divide again. Again, we're done with this polynomial, and now we're working with this one. 2x divided by x. So 2x divided by x is a positive 2. And then we multiply. 2 times x minus 4. So 2 times x, 2 times negative 4. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 4 is a negative 8. And then we subtract, and we see that 2x minus 8 minus 2x minus 8 is 0. Final answer is this guy up here, this x plus 2.